four pounder, four pounder, four pounder. Yeah. He's got it. No. No way. Before we get started with today's adventure, I wanted to jump on and let you guys know that today's video is going to be sponsored by Catchco. This bait right here, the Mike Buka's Baby Bull Shad, this is the baby bass color specifically, was the real MVP through the entire video. It is back in stock on the website and it'll be linked below, so be sure and check it out and get you some. Enjoy. What is going on guys? Welcome to the Weston Smith channel. This is Devin and I am taking over the channel for today. We are out here with Jeremy and Chef Bad Bass and Weston, of course, behind the camera. Hi. This is pond number two. You guys have probably already seen the previous episode, which we went over and fished the whole morning at the other pond right here in this elk ranch. Had an absolute blast slayed and we are on to the next pond i'm taking over doing an episode of my own everybody's out here fishing it's time for total bass annihilation yeah Woo! Woo! we're not even on the water yet and jeremy's got a good one he's got the net out we're waiting to kind of see how big it is meanwhile i'm catching up on my sunscreen easy four what all right we're gonna start off Using this Texas rig that I already had tied on and I already got a Alabama crawl trench hog on it. Just toss it up here close to the bank. First cast. Oh, bites. Getting bites, getting bites on the trench hog. He's got it, he's got it. Yep, 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 yep. Is that your first cast? Uh, second. Dude, they are hugging that side. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> he is not happy. Get in here. They are here. They are biting. Wes and I doubled up. First fish for me. Trench hog doing work. You know what? We're kind of throwing a variety of all sorts of different things. These fish are just on fire. I'll have to give you a time update, but get him back in the water. Bye. <laughs> just so you guys know it is 1207 sunday may 3rd you know what i'm gonna go ahead and throw y'all probably saw this one on the other video since i still have it tied on i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try possibly if i know how to untangle it there we go no 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 yeah there ha I win, you lose. Go catch a fish. Got a fish, I got a fish. I got a fish on the pink swim bait. Yes, on that depth. <laughs> the swim bait is like as big as him. It took me a second to even figure out I had a fish and look at, look at that. <laughs> Double it, treble hooked right there at the top of the mouth. I don't have a pair of pliers on me, so let me see if I can't get these out. What were you thinking? That was not going to be a win for you. All right. Well, you look at that size comparison of what the swim bait is bringing in. These guys do not care at all. They are going to go after whatever they think that they can eat. Second fish in a matter of like 10 minutes on a completely different bait. Gotcha. Oh, he had it. He was swimming with it. That's all I see. He was swimming right towards me and I saw his white belly right there at that base of that tree. Man, there's just, there's so many bluegill and several pretty micro bass swimming up in here. I feel like if I tie one of those bull shads that these guys will totally go after it. That or even a bandito bug. Got him. <laughs> that was sight fishing. <laughs> he was the only bigger one that I've kind of seen cruising the shoreline since I've been sitting here for a bit and uh, tossed in there and he went right up to it. Probably been sitting here for the past four minutes just re-rigging up a few different things. Obviously this one being one of them. There's another good sized bass. Go away quietly. Go away quietly. Thank you. All right, let me just get this last thing rigged up. This is going to be the Mike Buka's baby bull shad, like I just said. He's on this one bait. Oh my God, let's not. All right, got him tied on. <sighs> Son. 
Jonathan just bumped it. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, give it some fight. Give it some fight. Give it some fight. Over there, right on that log. This fish is pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Look at that. Get another bait. Look at this big log right under the water. He was just hanging out right on the side of that. Meanwhile, I'm looking around at fish that I want to catch and I can't even get the one that I got hooked, unhooked. Oh my God, these gloves and treble hooks. I'm about to have to take these gloves off. You have been a great candidate and I will review your resume and we'll get back to you. I need to gain another uh, three or four pounds. Peace on out. Oh, oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get a selfie with this guy. He's pretty. I'm excited. Thanks for playing, bud. Checkmate. Are you going fast? No, got that freaking little bluegill. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be even eating these. Not who I'm going for, and I didn't even know how you were gonna think about eating that. Come on, have more realistic expectations in life. Dude, that is like a four pounder. Four pounder, four pounder, four pounder. Come on. He's got it. No, no way. No, <gasps> he came off. That fish was big. Dang, that would have definitely been the biggest fish of the day for me. Gotcha. There's one on. There's one on. Ha <laughs> ha. Come on. Come on. Come on. This one's not bad. Not bad at all. I don't have pliers. Maybe I can use this. Yep. 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 There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Talk about some improvising. Awesome. Yeah, man. They are just all stacked up on that tree out there. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time and then make my way back over there. I feel like another big one, if not that same one, might come up and maybe if I throw something else in there, he'll go after it. I've been using the bull shad for, I don't know, probably the past like four or five catches, but it's what's doing work and it's what's getting it done. It's been a while since I've thrown this. This was one of the very first little swim baits that Weston and I got and it does damage and you can get that on Carl's Bait and Tackle. And if you're a Carl's member, you can save 30% on all of your purchases. A free shipping as well. Oh my goodness, there's a big bass right there. Where did he go? Oh no, he left. All right, doing it and changing it up. Something they hadn't seen here yet. Last white bandito bug that I have. Ooh, that spider needs to stay away from me <laughs> put on a fresh new bandito bug <laughs> there's a snake Whoa, I have a fish on. <laughs> I was letting it sit because I was trying to rearrange myself. Come on. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready now? How about now? Well, bud, you might very well be my last fish for this video. Good old Texas rig getting it done as the day gets a little hotter. These fish seem like they're going a little deeper. If these irritating bugs are the worst part of today, I'd say that is a complete win because it's been a awesome day of fishing. Let's get you back. Thanks. Oh my God, he's caught me. <laughs> these dang gloves, they're good at protecting heat, but they get caught on fish's mouths like nobody's business. Get it? Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Ooh, put on a show for him. 
put on a show. That was too cool. I saw that fish. Come on, come on, we gotta, all right, we can't play anymore. Now you gotta come up. Now it's time to get onto the boat. Thank you. That was cool. I saw that fish up under that tree. I cast it right in where he was. Felt a little bitty bump. Saw my line swimming. Gave it a good second. Made sure he had it. Set that hook. We got him. I was just kidding about that last fish. This might be the last fish of the day. Guys, I want to thank you for checking out my personal video for the day on the channel. It's been a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. On the yaks, enjoying all of this time, catching some awesome fish. It's been a numbers game today. You can't pick and choose and that's called fishing. We want to thank Catchco again for sponsoring today's video. The baits used today, especially that Mike Buka's baby bull shad, will be linked in the description below, as well as Aaron and Jeremy's Instagram. So be sure to check those guys out. Awesome dudes, awesome fishermen, awesome content. We're going to keep cranking videos out once a day. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out. <gasps>